Good morning. I thought you were never going to get out of the sack. I... This is the first time I've ever been messed up. I know. I was just about to call you. Yeah. Are we having a party? Oh, we sure are. Great! Here? No, actually, we're all going to the park on a picnic. Wow! Yeah. The whole family? Mm. You bet. Even the dog. What do you think about that? How come you and Godfrey don't have to go to work today? We never go on picnics during the week. How come we're going on one today? Good uh, partner, I think it's maybe time that we moseyed on in the living room and have a little talk, okay? Right okay. This way. Something's wrong, isn't it? Well, why would you say that? So. Well, first of all, we're going on the picnic, and it isn't even Saturday. And then you asked me to come in here and have a talk with you. Something bad's gonna happen. I just know it. Mikey, this is just the last time that the whole family's gonna be together. For what? Just for what? Someone's going away? No. Well, not exactly. You're leaving us again, aren't you? But you just got back. Mike, I have to have an operation. I'm checking in the general hospital this afternoon. I have any choice about it. It's like being sick. Okay, you're sick, you're supposed to go to bed and rest up, take care of yourself, right? If you don't, then things get worse. Why can't you stay in bed here? Oh, my problem is a little more serious than that. You have to go to the hospital? That's the only place they have operations. Well, why couldn't they have yours somewhere else? Like in a nice hotel. You know, I gotta, I gotta check into the hospital for that. Don't worry about it, Mikey. Why, before you know it, Rick will be back here. Only the good thing is he'll be stronger than ever. Yeah. Oh, speaking of strong. Yeah. Uh, I need a couple of uh, strong guys to help me carry the stuff out to the car. Any volunteers? That means me, huh? You and the big guy. Okay. Thank you, sweetie pie. You didn't take it well, huh? Well, not as well as I hope. I think he was less upset about me being sick as he was upset about me checking into the hospital. Well, it probably just means that he's all around worried, afraid. I suppose. Well, he's not the only one. Come on, pal, we got a picnic to attend. <laughs> Make sure to lay out some food for the ants. Now, they're down here now, but they never miss a free meal, I, off, I promise you. I hate ants. Amy, hey, don't let them hear you say that. Now, either way you look at it, you can end up with ants in your sandwiches. So take my motto, okay? If you can't beat them, eat them. Harris, you are really gross. I know. Really hey, you want to join the party, guy? Come on, sweetheart. Uh... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I want that chicken with chicken. Chicken. Yeah, we'll I got the chicken. Well, that was your piece. That was fun. I am out of shape. Well, if you'd know how to catch the ball, you wouldn't have to run after it the whole time. I catch fine. You throw like a girl. No, I do not, Amy. So shut up. I would consider that a compliment. Yeah. Hey, listen, Mike. Let's you and me show them how it's done. Come on, let's go play ball. Here we go. Ball, ball. Heads up, we're going to go. Corky, you should catch up. I'll get closer. Feeling okay? Amy, I'm feeling just fine. This is something I really need. I wish that... We all feel kind of helpless, right? Amy, there is nothing more anybody in this family could have done. You all have been so supportive. It's times like this you really know and you appreciate what a family is to you. And and you kind of want to say something about it. You don't have to. I mean, I understand. Well, I do have to. It's important to me that you understand. It really is. We've been through a lot together. You are a far cry from that little teenager I once knew. I hope so. Oh, I mean it. Somewhere along the line, you turned into a woman. I, overnight. Well, I'm sure not to you. Sometimes it's cool that way. Oh, you've had a long, rocky road. Yeah, but you and Les, 
always made it pretty terrific for me. Amy, you've had a lot happen to you. You really have. I, I can't think of many people at all who would have turned out as well as you have. What's that? Losing both your parents. Then Laura. And all the troubles that Leslie and I have given you. That's made life very rough for you. That. I just want you to know as bad as I've been and as, as rough as I may have been on you, it's because whatever I did, it's because I thought it was the best thing for you. And it always was. You've always done that for me. I'm very grateful. And I love you very, very much. You mean I love you? I'm proud, really proud. I'm mean, just part of your growing up. Well, it's not like you're done with me yet. Well, no, it's not. At all. And everything's going to work out just fine. I know it is. kind of shook up by this whole thing, huh? No, he's not the only one. Yeah. Still, he's taking it pretty tough. Well, that made things a little better. I mean, the talk I did this morning, but I think it made it worse. He's just a kid. I guess he doesn't understand. Blackie, he's very worried about me going with the hospital. Keep an eye on him, you please? Oh, of course. Of course. I'm, I'm going to take real good care of him. I'm going to take care of the whole family, all right? I mean, I'm... I want to be real strong, Rick. I want to be very, very strong, just like you used to. I mean, how, how you are. I... Blackie, I'm not going to die. Don't, Rick, all right? Don't what? Don't, don't promise me that. I don't understand. But you, please, just... Don't promise me that kind of thing. Why? Because you don't know that for sure. Nobody knows that for sure. Now... I'll go ahead and I'll believe you or something. You tell me you're not going to die, I'll believe you. And, and then something happens. You're thinking about your mom. You knew she was going to die, and yet you wouldn't face that. You wouldn't accept it. And you figured if you didn't accept it, it wouldn't happen. And you don't want to go through that again. Yeah. Of course I don't want to go through that again. Nobody wants to go through that kind of thing. It's tough. You, you know what I'm going through? It's like... When someone's sick, you want to... I want to grab onto anything that's going to make me feel like they're going to get better. Like they're not going to die. And then they do. No, it's... Once is enough. Look, I, I won't promise you anything. But I tell you this, I fight for the last ounce of energy I've got. I'm not a quitter. Besides, it... If I died, you know what would happen? Think about it. Just think about it. I don't even want to. Why don't you realize it would be a catastrophe? You. You would be the head of this family. I, I definitely don't want to think about that. That, that would be bad. Uh, how, how, Blackie, could I do that to the rest of this family? Huh? I don't know. That would be horrible. I, I admit. Horrible. It would be a catastrophe. You know, if you'd feed them every day, they'd have hamburgers, That's right. hot dogs, That's and right. pizza, for breakfast, and beer. I'd have parties every single night. No, you wouldn't have a curfew. They'd have to come in after midnight, or they couldn't come on. I'd have rock and roll going all night long. I'd play the Beach Boys, mm -hmm. Beatles, everything. Motorcycles in the living room. Naturally. It'd be a blast. A blast. It'd be chaos. <laughs> That'd be horrible. I think I'd like to come back and be your son. Yeah. Hi, Tim. Hi. Lou. Hi, Lou. Hi. What are I, you doing here? Well, it looks like you're having a good time. I, I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, we are. It's, it's pretty, pretty fair time. I'm having the best. Well, I, I know you said we couldn't see each other today and everything, but... Well, I, I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to apologize. For what, though? Being scared of you. Oh, look, um, you were just being careful. No, I was being dumb. You were trying to help me. You were being really nice, and I was scared of you like a little kid. It's forgotten. It's over. It's done. I've, I've forgotten all about it. Well, thanks. There is, however, one thing, though. Yeah? Yeah. Can we be friends? <laughs> oh, you're 
you can count on it. <laughs> oh, here comes the gang. Hey, look who's here. Oh, I, I think so. No, 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 stick around, stick around. Yeah. Yeah, please, please do. No, I, I don't want to butt in. You really? wouldn't be. We'd love to have you join us. And there's plenty of food left to see this year. Of course, Corky. Well, <laughs> no, come on, come on. Now you're staying. Now dig in. Come on. Okay. Give me some of this cake. I made this cake by myself. You lie. I made you it. Lie. No, I wish I had grown up in a family like this. I mean, you're all so close. I mean, even when something bad happens, they're such luck for each other. Especially when something bad happens. Yeah, it does bring us together. It's just too bad it takes this kind of thing to do it. Just be glad you have all the support. I mean, think about if Doc Webber had to go through this alone. Excuse me. How you doing, buddy? Okay. Are you a little bit worried? Sure. Aren't you? A little. I am. A lot. I want Doc Rick to have his operation and all. But why does he have to go to the hospital to do it? Because that's where they do operations. They've been gone a long time. I better go after them. Let them see what's happening. Leave them alone. This is their time. Do you remember our horrible honeymoon? Do you remember that night when I sat in the car with a gun in my lap and you would forget? <laughs> How can I forget that? Oh, Lord, think of all that's happened since then. Not all bad. No? No, but some of it was... Losing Laura. Uh, when we thought Mike was kidnapped and the problems with the sports center and the problems with the clinic and Monica and all that time we were apart. I don't know how you stuck by me all that time. I really don't. I never stopped loving you. Not for one minute. Not through the worst of it. Leslie. Wait a minute. I, I think I want to say something here. If I had it to do all over again, I, there's a lot of things I would change. All the pain and all the grief, I would make all of that go away. But there's one thing that I would not touch. And that's how I feel about you. That has been a blessing every minute of every day. And I want to thank you, Rick. Thank me, I should be thanking you. Do you know how many things that have happened that you've stood by me on? So many things more than I have any right to expect at all. Well, see, I have so many things in my life to be thankful for. But you're at the very top of that list, you really are. It's been an honor having been by your side. thinking about no no yeah, no you're going to be fine you can't say that and i can't say it it's fine okay the kids they think it's serious and it's dangerous but you and i both know just exactly how much risk is involved look this is not a goodbye that's not what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say that even if i don't pull through my my love for you is much stronger than my heart ever was I'll always love you. I'll always care for you. Those feelings, that love will always be there, even if I'm not. I'll never leave you, Leslie. Don't cry. Don't cry. Everything's gonna be fine. 